Hello, in this Steam Deck video, going to be something really exciting, going to be showing you how to set up Ryu Jinx, which is a Switch emulator on your Steam Deck. So it's pretty simple. First of all, I'll go set up, I'll show you all the steps. First of all, what you want to do is press the Steam button, go down to power, uh, press B, and then go to switch to desktop. Okay, so what you what will be switching to this? So you can download Ryu Jinx off the Discover Store, and I haven't had the best of luck with that. I have read people having you know a fine time with that, and it's been working fine for them. Personal experience, and you know, a friend of mine followed the tutorial as well. Uh, I'm going to test it on his system. And this version worked on the like the Discover the App Store didn't work for some reason. I would have preferred that it would have been easier. But basically, what we do is we go to the and just so you know, if you've never used the desktop mode before, you use the left trackpad to move the mouse. And if you click it in, it does a left click. And if you click the did I say yeah the right trackpad? If you, if you click in the left trackpad, it does a right click. So it's a bit confusing. And you go to reujinx.org, click on download and click on the Linux icon. So let me scroll up a bit, so hopefully you can see. And yeah, so you just click on that icon there, you'll open this, you just click, make sure save file, click OK. I've already got it, so I'm not going to do that. Next, you want to Google Switch Firmware, and you want to go to the darfsterny.net website and just download the latest version. I've already downloaded it. I've got 14.1.2. You can get the rebootless update. That just basically means what Nintendo has done. They've recently released an update that hasn't changed the firmware version number. And it, you don't even need to reboot the console. Again, none of that actually impacts us. So, it, 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 But just so you know what that is. You can download the rebootless update. That's fine. That doesn't matter. Okay, so I used Mega. You can use archive.org. I found archive.org a bit slow. What Mega does is it downloads this sort of like on their end first and then it you know just gives it you a really fast speed. And so yeah, that's like a little cool way they do it. So I prefer Mega, but you can use either one. Once you've got that, you'll need the prod.keys. I technically cannot show you the prod.keys. You're, you're meant to rip them from your own switch. I will not provide a link in the description, but what I will do, there's a link in the description to my Discord page. Feel free to join the Discord page and the Discord group. Post on there, like in the Switch or in the general, you know, something. And, you know, I'll help you out. But I can't, I can't really put it on the, you know, YouTube description. Everything else will, will be in the YouTube description, though. Okay, so first of all, now let's go ahead and in the download folder, I've got everything that we'll need. Don't know if it have taken a little while. I've ended up opening multiple instances of it. Got the only one yet. Okay, so go to downloads. And these are the three things that we got. We don't need to extract the firmware. You can just install it as a zip file, which is fine. Also, in terms of games, obviously get the games however you want. You can get them into in NSP format, .NSP, .XCI. I'm using .XCI. And I've put them in. I recommend that you put them somewhere that you're just gonna have in a one location. I've got external drive, got a ROM folder, got a switch, and I've got it and I've got Super Mario right there, .xci. Okay, so let's set up Ryujinx. So you just right click it with the left trackpad. And go to extract. Go to extract here, auto detect subfolder. And so that's finished now. And in the publish folder, some reason my console has been a bit slow, it's weird. And there is Rejinx. I recommend that you copy that. So copy that. Go to what you want to do is go to home. And I recommend that you create a new folder here. So just right click in the left trackpad, go to create new folder. And to you get the key board up, you press Steam and the X face button. And I'm going to call it Apps. So Apps just makes things a lot easier. Okay, so 
And what we're going to do now, in here, I'm going to paste that publish folder. I'm going to re rename it. And again, Steam and X. And I'm going to rename it to Reujinx. So, re. Re you jinx. There we go. Make sure it's the correct. Yep, that's all good. Now what we can do is actually go ahead and open this. And if I was to make sure if you left click, I mean right click it, go to properties, go to permissions. Uh, sorry, no. Permissions say is executable. Click OK, and now let's just, if you just click on it, double click. Okay, yours might say, do you want to execute it? That's fine, just say yes. Mine's got a game pop-up because I've already technically set it up before, and it's got some of my old settings. So what you want to do is you want to install the system version, and to do that, you go to options, no, sorry, tools, install firmware, and it's from a zip, so you select that. Then you go to like your downloads, 14.1.2. You select open. And I'm not gonna do it, because I've already got it, but you'll install it. Uh, so you just go through that process. It's pretty quick, to be fair. Next, what you wanna do is go to file, and you wanna go to open reusing folder. So that's open up it in .config in home. So in here, in and this is in like var, you know, apps, that sort of stuff. Okay, in here, you wanna go to system and you wanna put the prod.keys. So literally, uh, what you would do, you just go to downloads, or wherever they are, copy them, and you would like right click, paste one file. I've already got in there, so I don't need to do it. Apart from that, you're pretty much good to go, I'd say. The last thing I would say you want to set up is in options and you can select that you don't have to go to settings and put a game directory I'm gonna add a directory and I actually uh, I've just added it from Warpinator where the folder is that I actually copied it on you can add other directories so it's not even linked to my external micro SD but you can put them there if you want and what you want to do in system make sure you select your correct region correct language and correct you know date and time otherwise do, 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 the, the time correct time slightly out of correct it's not correct so let me stop that otherwise certain games i think like animal crossing uh, do have issues if you don't have the correct time and date okay pretty much everything else you can leave as is so apply that Good graphics. Again, you can leave that as is. You can increase the resolution scale. Probably would not recommend it with the Steam Deck. It's a great machine, but it's not that powerful. And you can enable docked mode by default. You can change that whilst you're in the game as well. And you just go to configure your player. So let's say player one. And you just select what configuration you want. If you have an external controller, like a PlayStation 4 controller, it'll pop up there. So you just select that, so if there's two Steam Virtual ones, just select the first one. And you can just literally, if I click that, and if I press B, it puts it as B, but I always want it as A. So feel free to, you know, remap all this stuff. And for the controller type, the closest controller you're going to get to what your Steam Deck is, is Pro Controller. So select that. You can have different profiles, you can add a profile, load a profile. Benefit of that is if, let's say, you were a different configuration for a different game, you know it's very great for that or you know for different players possibly as well and but yeah there we go everything else you can pretty much you know keep as the same like i said you may need to configure configure all the controls if you do fine do that otherwise you should be good to go click save down here and click apply save and there we go and obviously your games will appear if they're in the folder that you've selected and apart from that, you can actually play play the games there. I recommend that you play them in the gaming mode. To do that, we'll close this down. And what you do is you open up Steam. You go to library. In the desktop mode, go to add a game. 
add a non-steam game. And what you do, uh, actually one second. I've already got it added and I've it's in, it's in the wrong folder because I've moved the folder in there for this tutorial. I've organized it a bit better, so let me just... Okay, so I'm just going to delete this again. This is not stuff that you have to do. This is just something I'm doing. And so yeah, you go to add game, add an on Steam game. You go to, you literally go to browse. And what you want to do is go to home, apps. Rejinx. And you want to select this, go to all files and find the Ryu Jinx. Just, it's just Ryu Jinx. Click open, add selected programs, that's it. And now go to return to gaming mode. You can use your finger or you can use the trackpad to switch back. And now we can launch it up from our gaming mode and it's a lot easier, a lot better. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your library. You want to go to non-steam. You can just use L1, R1. Open up Reujinx. Once it loads up, I'm going to get rid of the performance overlay for now. And just double tap your game. So you just literally double tap with your finger. I find sometimes it doesn't always detect it depending on if you moved your finger a bit too much and if it doesn't open it within a couple of seconds, just do it again. And this is, there we go, it's detected it now. So it's going to launch up Super Mario Odyssey. So it's, as you can see, this will do it with all the games. It's just compiling shaders. This will happen with all games initially. That's just something to bear in mind. But once it's done it once, it won't be doing it every single time on launch for every game. So it's, it's like a one-time thing for each game. Ooh. Switch the camera around then. <laughs> so yeah, the shade is still compiling. If you can actually see that, see right there, so the shade is compiling, it's going up, it's almost, it's almost, let me zoom out, it's almost done the compiling now. Okay, shade is now compiled. So, in the bottom it says VSync is green, which means it's enabled. Handheld mode, I recommend you go into the, like, the Ryujinx GitHub page, go into the issue section and type the game in. Depending on the game, you may need to play it in handheld or docked mode. There are certain issues like that, for example, as well. Feel free to change the ratio. If you want to go full screen, you press options and go to enter full screen. I generally don't start game in full screen mode, just because if initially when I start the game and I want to do some tweaks or do some settings for that particular game or do something like that. Yeah, I can't, I, as far as I'm aware, you can't open that menu back up. But there you go. Steam Deck. Game's working. Yeah, that frame rate is really low. Have I got it? I've got it capped for some reason. That's a lot better now. <laughs> Again, it's same with you because I've already played this. I've already tested it. And I will do performance tests of different games, including Super Mario Odyssey. So this is not a performance test, this is literally just me having a quick go and showing you the setup. And you see it's working. You know, your mileage will vary depending on the game you are playing. But, there you go. That's it. That's how you set up Ryujinx, the Switch emulator on the Steam Deck. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the description, in the description, in the comments. In the description, you will have a link to download the firmware to also download Ryujinx, I will provide a link to the dis our Discord page 
where you can we can talk about uh, you can talk to the community about getting the prod doc keys file because otherwise uh, i'm not putting them uh, direct links on you know the youtube description and doo -doo 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 -doo, let me know what videos you would like to see next what games you want to see and tested it on the steam as well if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button this is probably like the only you know Ryu Jinx proper setup video as of right now so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye Let's see how long this video stays up for.